everybody welcome to my first youtube video my first reaction video um so this past week was the first day of fall for us so in my mind that absolutely means it's spooky season so i thought i'd kick off um this new channel with um what i think is considered a very well-known classic horror movie thriller movie and that's the shining and i am almost 30 years old i will be 30 in like a week yeah about a week and this i've never seen this movie before i really don't know what it's about um i know it was a book by stephen king and i know that in friends joey had to put it in the freezer because it was too scary for him i know that jack nicholson is in it and shelly duvall and um I think Jack Nicholson's character is a writer, but I'm not like 100% positive. Um, and then I have seen that scene uh, because it's parodied just everywhere where the like two little girls, I think they're little girls, are like uh, riding their tricycles down a long hallway. Have no idea what that's in reference to when it comes to the film, but it's I've seen that everywhere. So I guess that's a pretty well-known scene. Um, I do consider myself a cinephile. I love film and television, but there are a lot of well-known movies that have gotten past me. So I thought this would be a great time to make a channel and kind of explore those. And also new movies and shows I just have not got around to seeing. I'm very much kind of a stuck in my ways kind of person. I don't like to watch a lot of new things, just I guess out of fear slash anxiety that I, you know, I, I don't know what's going to happen or I may not like them, but I really want to reach, uh, get out of my comfort zone and find some new amazing uh, films and TV uh, shows. So um, with that in mind, let's, let's get right into it. I like this camera work. I really like when movies open like this because it really hypes up that suspense, draws you in. The interview. Hmm. It's like separate into chapters, like Kill Bill. Uh, did they uh, give you any idea in Denver about uh, what the job entails? The basic idea is to, to cope with the very costly damage and depreciation which can occur. So he's going to be like a caretaker? There's one other thing I think we should talk about. My predecessor in this job hired a man named Charles Grady as the winter caretaker. During the winter, he must like have suffered some break. kind of a complete mental breakdown. He ran amok and uh, <laughs> killed his family with an axe. Why is he laughing about that? He put uh, both barrels of a shotgun in his mouth. Ugh. See... I would have said no because of that. That's like bad juju, bad energy. <laughs> yeah, it is. You can rest assured, Mr. Ullman, that's not going to happen with me. Those are the famous last words. Probably. <laughs> I have an idea and understanding now of probably what this is, movie's going to be about. Tony, why don't you want to go to the hotel? I don't know. You do, too, know. Oh, come on, tell me. Don't want to. Let's zoom in. Please. No. Tony, tell, tell me. What? What did he tell him? Oh, no, what the... F I'm going to try not to curse on this channel. What the fudge monkeys is that? Oh, my God. No. Oh, there's those little girls. Oh my god! Is this what he's seeing in his mind? What the heck was that? There's no answers. Did he like, what happened? Did he freak out? My grandmother and I could hold conversations entirely without ever opening our mouths. Okay. She called it Shiny. Oh, they said it. That's the name of the book and the movie. So this is like kind of a version of being psychic, but they're not using that word. Mr. Allen, what is in one, two, three, seven? This kid, see, he knows this kid knows too much. Nothing. Uh-huh, he's lying. Or he's trying to convince himself. So stay But just out. in case, protect yourself. 
God, that music. This is like his enemy writer's block. Oh no, it's him throwing a ball. I thought it was like music. I mean, but still, obviously, he's kind of throwing that in anger. He's having writing problems, blank page. I'm not being grouchy. I just want to finish my work. Okay, I understand. Maybe writing's not for I'll him. come back later on with a couple of sandwiches for you, and maybe you'll let me read something then. Whenever you come in here and interrupt me, you're breaking my concentration. You're distracting me. Oh. And it will then take me time to get back to where I was. Definitely a violent streak in him. What an a-hole. Why don't you start right now and get the f*** out of here? Uh, divorce. Poor her. She's like, she doesn't even know how to react. Like, um... He looks crazed. He's very good at giving those kind of looks. Like he has a, that look like in, in the movie Wolf. Oh God. Okay, we're on this just a little too long for my liking. Okay, Saturday. It's, these short scenes are so great at, again, building up the hype and the uh, intensity, the suspense. No, nope. Go the other way. Go the other way. Oh, no. What the f Sorry. Oh my God. And I was trying so hard not to curse on this thing. Oh, that kid is gonna be traumatized forever. I'm gonna have nightmares. Those little girls were hacked to death. God. Oh my God, the room's open. No, no, no. Sinister forces are at work. What the hell? I dreamed that I, that I killed you and Danny. Uh, Cut you up in little pieces. Oh, sweet Jesus. Oh God, what happened to him? The slow walk. What the hell happened to him? He's dazed. Oh my god. Or does she think he did something? You did this to him. Oh. There's someone else in the hotel with us. There's a crazy woman in one of the rooms. She tried to strangle Danny. He went up into one of the bedrooms. The door was open and he saw this crazy woman in the bathtub. She tried to strangle him. Which room was it? Oh, he sees someone too? Okay, I'm not gonna show this part on YouTube. Like, I don't know what, like, I'm trying to like, know where to look. They're just really not shying away from a... Yeah, showing everything. Um, I don't know about this. This is getting weird, like it wasn't weird already. Okay. Um. What the absolute hell? Oh my god! No! Oh my god! No! Oh god! What the f- That is so not okay! No! Oh my god! Sweet mother of god! No! 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 I'm gonna have nightmares. Yep. Did you find anything? No. Nothing at all. Okay. Oh god, this poor kid. Oh, is that where that comes from? Get him out of here? You mean just... Leave? What? Oh no. <laughs> I have let you f*** up my life so far. Oh. I am not gonna let you f*** this up. You f***ed up your own life. But there's a family up there all by themselves with a young kid. I'd sure appreciate it if you give them a call on your radio. I'd be glad to do that, sir. Uh, why don't you call me back in about uh, 20 minutes? I feel like a lot of bad sh** is going to go down in those 20 minutes. And yes, I've given up trying to not curse and through this. It ain't going to happen. Good evening, Mr. Torrance. Good evening. Okay, we are now in the 20s. 
Makes sense. Guys yeah, walking around like, yeah, this is normal, sure. Beautiful costumes. That is a very red bathroom, dear God. And I'm sure that was intentional to allude to like blood and whatnot. And those little diamonds are like reminiscent of drops of the blood. Mr. Grady, you were the caretaker here. You uh, chopped your wife and daughter up into little bits and you blew your brains out. I am so lost. Red rock. Red rock. Red rock. I don't like this at all. And he's not here, Mrs. Torrance. No. It's like those split personalities where like that person will retreat into the like the other personality that can handle what's going on will come forward. And he's gone away, Mrs. Torrance. God. Couldn't cope with it. Isn't that usually how split personalities happen? It's like a traumatic event just to deal with it. How long is it going to take you to get up here? Oh, about five hours. God, this guy's determined, man. I hope, I hope nothing bad happens to him. The camera angles, man, they're so good. I've heard that phrase before. I didn't know it came from this movie. All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. Dull bog. It's just getting worse and worse. Oh god. That was all he was writing the whole time? Oh my god. There are like hundreds of pages. That's all he wrote. What do you want to talk about? Look. You're insane. Don't hurt me. I'm not gonna hurt you. Stay away from me. Wendy. Stay away. Darling, light of my life. I'm not gonna hurt you. You didn't let me finish my sentence. I said, I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm just gonna bash your oh, brain. Oh, Jesus. I'm gonna bash him right the f in. <laughs> Open that door. You've got a big surprise coming to you. <laughs> You're not going anywhere. <laughs> Go check out the snow cat in the radio and you see what I mean. Oh my god. I and others have come to believe that your heart is not in this. What is the goal of like the spirits just want history to repeat itself they're malevolent i mean have they had other caretakers here before right oh they open doors you've got to be kidding me well obviously they britney they opened the hotel door okay well at least this guy's coming there's hope No, this is what scared the bejesus out of me. I wouldn't even be able to like deal with that kid anymore. No! Oh my god, no. See, nope. Absolutely not. What is his problem? Okay, well he's leaving the mother alone. Never mind, he's going back. <laughs> Like a reason why it's uh, some of it's backwards. Ah! Ah! Chilo, you son of a bitch. scared me. <laughs> I'm sorry, my cat jumped up and I was like very scared right here. Can you get him? Yeah. Oh, he jumped up at the most inopportune time, but was she like trying to warn him or something? Was he trying to warn her? 
Oh my god! Oh, that's not gonna work. Oh, it's so high! Get the kid out. Squeeze him through. Oh, Lord of mercy. Uh, just let him go. Can she squeeze through? Oh, come on, girlfriend. Oh, God. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Can he fit in there? Here's Johnny. No, 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 no. Get him. Oh. I can't even. I go. There's someone there. I'm like so on edge right now. They better not hurt him in this movie. Like, how does he plan on defending himself? He has to know something like sinister is going on. No! Oh! Son of a. Voices. Can she hear that? Okay, I'm guessing she can hear that based on her reaction. What the f is that? Oh my god! What the absolute. What were they doing? What the? Did I just spit all over myself? That was so goddamn. I can't eat. Like, what the hell was that? Please, someone explain that to me with the animal. F what was that? What was the significance of that? Okay. Daddy! Daddy! You know, I've seen some horror films, thrillers, whatever. I have not seen anything like this. I, and I'm sure people... Anyway, wow. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. What is this? Burn it to the ground. Uh-oh, what is this? What is this? What is happening here? What the heck is this? What? What is it? What is it? Oh, he's trying not to leave footsteps. Where's he gonna go? That room with the knife. Oh no! 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 This is an evil house, evil hotel. That's why you don't build over Native American burial grounds. The spirits are angry. He, does he know his way out of there? Oh, he did come out. There'll be time for that later. Get the f out of there. Okay. God. I'm sure it's probably going to end itself right here, isn't it? And I have so many questions. What is this? 1921. What? Why is he in the... He's in the photo. In a suit. What? What does that mean? I don't understand. Overlook Hotel. July 4th Ball, 1921. Why? I don't understand. Does he just like keep reincarnating? I don't understand. I'm not gonna get those answers, am I? Nope. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, film editor Ray Lovejoy. Music by. Ooh, that's a lot of names I can't pronounce, but brilliant. Um, okay. Well, uh, you know, that was something, uh, <laughs> yeah, um, s you, um, so, yeah, 
That was something. I'm trying to find my words exactly. Uh, I have so many questions about what that was. There's, yeah, so many unanswered questions here. You know, I don't know if I should look up what I want to know because I think this was the book. There was a sequel, and I think they made the movie. I want to say it was called Doctor Strange, but that's wrong because that's a Marvel movie. I feel like it was called Doctor Something, but maybe I'm wrong about that. But I think there was a sequel to this with Ewan McGregor, I, I think. So maybe I should not look too much into this because I would like to watch that as well and see if this story continues. I personally would not call this a horror movie for myself, although there were some jump scares. It was more like a very intense suspense thriller and it did it real well I guess it was borderline horror um but I say like n like compared to like um the like poltergeist or um the Amityville horror you know the old one in like the 70s with Margot Kidder is it Margot Kidder I think so I like comparing it to that it wasn't like that type of horror that being said this was really well done because you don't actually see anything menacing until near the end. And it was all, but still the suspense was being built with the way the camera angles were, the music and um, those short scenes. They were just so short and like flowed right into each other. Definitely very twisted. Did not expect it to go the way it did. That was a very interesting. It, um, it does take a lot to surprise me, so well done. 10 out of 10. This this movie really sets the bar for the horror, I guess, horror genre and thriller genre. Um, definitely, I think everyone should see it. I can see why it was, it was hyped. It's been hyped up so much. It is very good. The acting was phenomenal. Um, even the, the little boy was great. I liked it. It was good. I probably wouldn't watch it too many times. Uh, I think like once a year is probably good because I'm going to dream about some of that stuff. And uh, it was real, uh, it got real weird near the end there. Uh, yeah. Like even trying to find the words. It's also a rarity that movies will leave me speechless. So well done. And I do want to read the book now just to see how closely tied the movie was. So very good very well done um yeah so um leave me some comments what you think or if you can explain maybe some of my questions without giving spoilers for like the sequel but maybe you can't do that so well thank you for joining me off with, for this reaction uh with a special cameo from shiloh my cat you will see him quite frequently on here if you choose to join my little community here um thank you guys for uh watching and if you like what you see give me a thumbs up subscribe um i will have the full length videos down in patreon and if you are joining me here on patreon welcome thank you i will be posting polls so that we can pick what i'm going to watch next um definitely want to throw the sequel in there as a possibility if if again there is one i think there is but yeah, that was a great introduction to spooky season. Oh my gosh, now I just want to keep going with this until the end of October and then go into other types of films. But um, yeah, this was great. So I will see you guys next time and then um, we'll see what I choose to watch. Bye.